Back in 2004, Creative Assembly made a name for itself with the release of Rome Total War. While the company started the franchise with Shogun Total War and Medieval Total War, Rome was the game that truly put them in the map and gave Total War a place in the minds of mainstream players. Now, two decades after the start of the franchise and millions of sold copies later, Creative Assembly decided to revisit the game that made it what it is in an unprecedented Total War Remastered. Here are the top 10 things you need to know about Total War Rome Remastered. Number 1. It is a proper remaster, not a remake. Unlike many remasters out there, Total War Rome Remastered is not just a new coat of paint on a very old wooden horse. Developer Feral Interactive, which had already worked on the mobile ports of Rome Total War before working on this remaster, has a deep knowledge of the game and they were able to update the game's many assets while keeping the experience largely the same. That's not to say all the changes were cosmetic. They updated some of the game's functionality that were exceedingly aged, and some do verge closer to a remake. According to Feral, small balance passes were made in every single unit in the game, and old problems of the original, such as excess squalor and settlements during the late game, has been tweaked out by improving the logic. Number 2. Units look much better than expected. We expected the game to look like an old game, which it does, but we were also expecting the units to be ugly, which they are not. Total War Rome Remastered includes a complete texture and model pass of every asset in the game, including units, buildings, objects, even environmental effects like dust clouds and heat haze are now a thing. Even the campaign map got updated models. As a result, the units look really good in battle. The Roman models in particular are amazing thanks to a mix of armor and color palettes that look more like a stylized version of Total War Rome 2's models. While objects and buildings do look rather squared and old, the units are surprisingly modern. Number 3. Combat is… not pretty. Although the remaster added things like a new tactical map, unit displays, and range markers to tactical battles, it did not do much when it comes to animation. Total War Rome Remastered units may look like something from a few years ago, but the animations definitely betray how old the actual game really is. The way units move and run look quite dated, but nothing is as bad as the combat itself. Unlike Rome 2, where units would push against each other with shields and engage in single combat, Rome Remastered's combat is a very ugly, unpolished affair. Hundreds of units touch each other and just kind of hover in the general area, staring or touching until someone occasionally tries to stab someone else. When that happens, people tend to die, but the whole ordeal is definitely not pretty to watch. Even cavalry charges don't carry the momentum that your mind says they should. Number 4. The campaign got an update. The campaign was one of the most affected parts of the remaster, including a new UI and a new in-game camera that allows you to rotate the map and zoom farther than it was ever possible before. At the same time, the campaign also got a nice new functionality pass focused on efficiency. You can now view and sort settlements in a list, choosing from variables like public order or population growth, which allow you to navigate your empire much faster. There's also a new agent menu that lets you easily find your spies and diplomats and send them on missions via a rudimentary hub. And the addition of heat maps to the campaign lets you easily see the world's status at a glance. Number 5. Rome is unchanged. Total War Rome Remastered is still a Rome game, so Rome is the undefeatable champion it has always been in Rome 1 and Rome 2. Most of the features, including the fan-favorite division of the Italian Peninsula into the SPQR and three other Roman house factions, are unchanged. Number 6. All of the factions are now playable. The original Rome Total War included 22 factions, but the remaster ups that number to 38 playable choices. Feral added 16 civilizations that were previously only seen as AI-controlled players, allowing you a greater range of choices if you don't want to play as the eponymous Roman Republic slash Empire. Those factions are all locked until you defeat them in battle once, but you can toggle a setting in the launcher that makes them available from the start. Number 7. 4K performance is quite bad. For such an old game that looks quite dated even with a remaster, Total War Rome Remastered runs remarkably bad above 2K. Rome 2 easily reaches 90 FPS on most decent hardware and looks beautiful doing so, but Total War Rome Remastered struggles to get above 25 FPS in any rig that isn't top of the line. This would be acceptable in many cases, but given how dated Total War Rome Remastered looks, it is not one of them and it's really hard to stomach. Number 8. It has new features over the original. 
Among the remaster's improvements aimed at modernizing the game, there is a new agent type not present in the original game, merchants. These tradesmen can be sent all over the world to create trade links and enable access to faraway resources, letting you increase your income. Another interesting feature is the inclusion of soldier variety inside units, which stop armies from looking like clones of the same soldier. There's even a concern for soldier ethnicities, which means that the soldiers you get change depending on where you replenish your army's casualties. It's a small detail, but it's awesome. Number 9. Cross-platform is now a thing. For the first time ever in a Total War title, you can now fight multiplayer battles between Windows, Mac OS, and Linux copies. Those skirmishes support between two to eight players, but unfortunately, you can't play the campaign in co-op. Number 10. It's still not better than Rome 2. We all knew this was coming. Rose tinted glasses play a big part on our remembrance of old games, and as someone who first got into Total War because of Rome 1, we were definitely wearing those. As good as the original Rome Total War was, there's simply no way the game design would hold its own against a decade of iterations and improvements. Total War Rome 2 was the last proper historical Total War before the introduction of unit health points and the weightless combat of Attila and Total Warhammer, and it remains the top choice to anyone looking for the ultimate Rome experience. Thanks for watching! If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Are you planning to buy Rome Remastered at release? Let us know in the comments! And we'll see you next time. Freedom.